Welcome to Denzel's World. I'm currently skating to a fashion shoot, which you're about to see, which is super exciting. Um, little quick update. I haven't been posting simply because I haven't found the motivation. But today's episode is going to be a little different. I'm interviewing a photographer, and one of the questions I do want to get out of her is, how do you keep motivated? All right, ready? Yes. And here we go. Hello, <laughs> Internet. Here is another segment of my Talent Recognizes Talent interview. And today I'm joined with the lovely Jade Piper. Yes, hello. What is your God given talent? Well, this baby right here, it is photography. <laughs> when did you start photography? It was actually in high school. Yeah. My last term of grade 12, we did a photography unit. I did the unit and I absolutely loved it. So mm. I decided to do a diploma and yeah. it was pretty cool. How far do you wish to take your God-given talent? As far as I possibly can. Like One of my goals um, currently is to see my image like printed in store. Like imagine just like cool. a shop and then your big photo is just blown up. Like I can't Like wait. if it was this image right here. Oh yeah, it's bigger, <laughs> bigger. What I want to do is I want to see, I would love to see my image there, go to the shops, stand in front of it, and take a photo. <laughs> That's like my goal. And also like traveling around the world, um, doing campaigns, which I'm actually currently doing next month, which is really exciting. But um, yeah, so, and just working with international models mm. and just exploring it more. Mm. That's what I love to do. What camera do you have? I have the Canon 5D Mark III, and the lens I'm using is the 24 to 70 2.8 lens. Right, I can't even see. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're here at a shoot, and fortunately, we have the designer here joining us, Alex. Hi. <laughs> tell us, plug the brand. Tell us, actually, tell us what are we shooting here today? So today we're just shooting uh, my jewelry business, Callisto Jewelry. It's only about two months old. I just kind of sell gold, silver, basic, everyday, uh, affordable jewelry. So yeah. yeah. As a creative, I know that sometimes I can feel unmotivated. So how do you keep motivated? Well, that one is a little tricky because with my personality I'm a bit of a workaholic mm. so when there is nothing to do I want to do something so but, but when I first got, it, um, got into photography I set myself different goals and ideas and that's what kept me motivated to keep creative and I actually still do it to this day so I would um, think of creative photo shoots and then once I found the creative idea, I would, I would look for models and location and that's what keeps me motivated, like keep up the creative, your creative work in your mind and don't get too distracted when you have, you know, like paid, um, you know, um, shoots and all that kind of stuff because sometimes you can lose that creative flow but when you, when you kind of think of things on your own then it kind of gives motivation back to you. Who inspires you in your field of photography? Mm. Well, I have three. First one that um, helped me with fashion photography. So her name is Jessica Fabesi. She has YouTube videos and she helped me a lot to learn how to retouch um, images and how to take fashion photos. She actually inspired me to get this lens that I'm using today because she has this one. Also, um, Planful Soul, Claire. Um, I actually ran into her one day in January this year and it was like the best day ever. <laughs> Um, she's just so calming and collected and she's just beautiful. She's not necessarily a photographer, but um, she does like film and like inspiration and just everything. Just everything about her is amazing. And also Chuck, 
too. I also got to um, meet with my, with meet with him as well um, earlier this year too. That was amazing. So he's like um, a body art photographer. And, um, he kind of inspired me to do more black and whites, and I've got his presets and all that kind of stuff. So very different, but they're all amazing. I think with portraits, it's a lot popular and I feel like you can do a lot more with a portrait, I feel, because mm. you can take close-ups, you can take detailed shots with different angles. I feel like with landscape, it's more for like website news and especially with Instagram as well. With portraits obviously fit better and everything like that, but mm. I've always just loved that portrait style and mm. the different angles that you can do and um, all that kind of stuff. When I look at your work, I'm a fan of the colours you use. Why those particular colours or it, why those presets? Are they your presets? I um, have a specific style that I like to do, so quite fun, fresh, pastel-y kind of colours. Um, I don't really, I edit with a lot of light, so my photos aren't too dark, but I use um, Bonnie C's presets, edit my images. They're absolutely amazing. Um, and what I do is I use the preset as a base and then I would look at the image and then tweak it to um, fit the image. I do change the preset up completely into, into my style, but I use the preset as a base in all of my work. For this particular shoot, we're working with a bit more inexperienced models. So how would you, as a, an experienced photographer, communicate to an inexperienced model? When I do photo shoots with people who have never have modeled before, um, I kind of flow with how they're going. So um, I might start off in like a relaxed position, just get them comfortable, um, all that kind of stuff. And if I see something that they're doing, um, and I see something that can turn into something else, like a different pose, I would tell them. Um, but usually the nice relaxed, um, relaxing the face, like opening the mouth a little bit, um, it all depends on their personality as well because some people like to smile in photos and all that kind of stuff but it's mainly just making the model feel comfortable and chatty as well and also talking while taking photos is very important as well in directing Well that's the end of uh, me and yeah. <laughs> Jay's little interview. How did you find those questions? Oh, they were pretty, I was putting right on the spot, but good. no, good. They're, they're good. They were really good. That's yeah, good. They're awesome. Well, I hope you are now inspired to take photos of yourself, not of yourself, of like a selfie. selfie. <laughs> a selfie. Yes. Um, but I mean, take photos. Um, I'm going to camp. What's, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, just models, models and yeah. photographing jewellery as well if you are interested yes. in that area as well. If so, Jade yeah. can do it and now you can see how she does it, <laughs> you can do it too. Sweet. Yes, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Right. Thank you for today. That's okay. That's alright. Thanks for coming along. It was fun. Time to skate home. The goal, one of the goals I have is making sure that this channel is a channel of inspiration and it's really hard for me to think of inspirational things every week so why not just find people I know or people I've never met and have them talk about how to feel inspired about certain creative fields. On that note, this is the end of this week's video. I don't know if I should look at you. Oh, I should look at you. Oh, that's alright. I'm like 50-50. It's alright. <laughs> I'm right here. Yeah.